sucks. <laughs> Robbie, today is the day I've been waiting for forever. I knew from the beginning you were the one I wanted to spend my life with. You make me so happy, and of course, you make me laugh harder than anyone I know. Wow, babe. What a long and winding road to get here. Took me long enough, right? <laughs> my dreams have already come true at this point. I get to marry my best friend, my soulmate my someone who is always in my corner and always pushes me to be a better person. My someone who always keeps me laughing and for having such a big heart, even though you like to say there's a black hole there. You are kind, caring, loving, and the most giving person. Your heart is so big and I love you so much for it. We've been through so much in the past seven years and it only made us stronger. We loved each other long distance, lived in an apartment, and finally bought our house together. We then added four more paws to our family, making it whole. This house we have, have made a home filled with so much love and so many memories already. Today is the final step where I get to call you my husband. You are my rock and my safe place. I couldn't do this life without you. To think this journey started 15 years ago, who would have thought, and I love our life so much. I always look forward to the next adventure or camping trip with you, my love. I couldn't ask for a better partner in life. I promise to love you with all my heart, along with our girls. I promise to never turn down a Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter marathon. I promise to never turn down a Friday pizza night. I promise to not get hangry before every meal. I promise to not buy all of the decoys. I promise to always be by your side through the best of times and the worst of times. I love you so much, Amber. Now let's get this party started. I love you with all my heart, soul, being. I'll meet you under the willow trees. Okay. The end. <laughs> huh. here today to celebrate the relationship of Robbie and Amber and to be witnesses and supporters of their commitment they share with one another. Marriage gives permanence and structure to a couple's love. There's a way to tell one another that no matter how much you snore, how many decoys you have, or how much you spent while at Hobby Lobby, we're still in this together. It is more permanent than any obligation you will ever make. Marriage is telling the person that you love that you are not going anywhere, and that powerful commitment for two people to make to one another. marriage must be built on the foundation of this commitment. In marriage, the little things can become the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. 
is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for good and beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Amber, do you take Robbie to be your husband? Robbie, do you take Amber to be your wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage? You promise to love him, comfort her, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsake all others, being faithful as long as you both shall live. I do. I do. <laughs> all right, we're good, we're good. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and they kiss the bride. I'd welcome Amber to the family, but it seems like she's been here forever. So. He makes her better, and she makes him better. And that's what's important. God bless these guys. I know they're going to be happy. You can see it already. Let's party. Let's turn it up and turn it out. Congrats, cheers to the newlyweds. It's all good, baby. To love, laughter, and happily ever after.